Paul and Finton, congratulations. I am delighted to talk to you. How are you feeling? Hello, how's it going? How's, um, it? how's it going? How, uh, how, are you, how are you feeling, guys? Oh, fine, all together. Yeah, yeah, can't complain. Uh, uh, were, there, were there much celebrations in, in Tokyo last night? Uh, no, no, not really, no. Um, do you know, we just were packing the suitcase and all that type of thing, like... Okay, so 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 so, so the celebration will be will be put off perhaps uh, uh, until your return. Finton, we spoke to your mum yesterday, and she was as proud uh, as punch of you. Are you expecting big things when when you guys get back to Cork? Definitely in our house, anyway. I'd say there'll be, you know, a few um, celebratory d- dinners and drinks and all that stuff. Yeah, I'd say they're they're buzzing. Yeah, I, I think they are buzzing. The whole country is buzzing. You guys are, are, are total heroes. Paul, um, you were the favourites to win and, and that's not a, a position that maybe Irish people are, are comfortable with. We, we like to be, to some extent, the plucky underdogs. Um, did that put any... I mean, you pulled... You didn't pull like a plucky underdog. You pulled like like a, a winner. But did you? Did it put any additional pressure on you being the favourites? Uh, no, no, it didn't put any pressure on us at all. Like, and I don't see why it, it would put pressure on us. Like, because uh, I just I, I don't understand where people think that because like you're you're good that it makes it harder to win. Like, it, if anything, like because you're the favorite, like you, you actually shouldn't. You, you should be fucking. You should be confident, like because you should be the best, like going into it. So, so, and then the pressure is on on your opponents. Then, like more than anything so yeah no, I, don't I think, think we... that's why you're an Olympic gold medal winner though because I think a lot of people do view it the other way as a kind of you know they don't have that kind of self-belief was there ever a moment where you thought it was going to slip away from you? No I don't think so to be honest um, do you know like we, we, we've been kind of saying to ourselves yesterday we were pretty pretty pleased with our start and that's usually the worst of our our race like and um do we put an awful, an awful amount of effort into it? Uh, and so we were up there with the Germans and Italians. And do we've done so many races now over the years, both together and not together. And we just, we'd be good at judging our own efforts and, and how things are going and, and kind of budgeting how much energy you have left. And I suppose kind of coming through the second half of the race, we were kind of sitting there level with the Germans. And I think we would have known ourselves that if we need to, we have a bit more in reserve to put in a big dig then at the finish. And, uh, and John, we did manage to, to do that. And we kind of know the German style that they like to lead from the front. And this past year, then they've been kind of making a big burst in the third 500 metres. And when they weren't really putting massive distance into us at that stage, we, we kind of knew that um, they, they wouldn't have too much left to give it at the end. Uh, morning Finton morning Paul it's Mark Hagney here I've been told I can't say too much because they don't want this to turn into a Cork fest right but just from <laughs> one Cork man to other Cork men don't you boys feel play <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a city man well. obviously we don't say that in West Cork at all but <laughs> Oh, right. You'll be oh, on your own right. there now. Oh, I see. Oh, All right, so I'm Tony now, am I? The hierarchy of Cork coming well, out I, here. I always preferred Castletown Bear anyway. Uh, listen, I, seriously, all jokes aside, um, it, it has been a magnificent performance. But there has been one tiny little disappointment for most of us back home because the quotes of Rio came from the two of you, well, from your brother, yourself and your brother. Uh, we haven't had anything of the quality of pull like a dog and living on bread and jam. So you need to work on that, don't you? I uh, no, I wouldn't say so. Like, I mean, well, you don't want to be remembered for Asher. I might get the back of her hand when I go home. No, this time out, do you? Well, I, I if people don't remember me by that, then I, I'm not too bothered about it. Like, <laughs> look, uh, people, I think will remember you as very possibly our, our finest Olympian, to be perfectly honest, with with a gold and a silver under your belt. What's next for you, Paul? I mean, in fairness, what haven't you done? Um, I there's actually things now that I haven't done. Um, but uh, I suppose, yeah, Joe, we're going, we're going to have to, to Henley Regatta there in, in about two weeks' time and we're going to, going to do, do some racing there and then the national championships are down in Cork. Then the week after that again, Towards the end of August, we've a bit, bit more rowing to do before the summer's out. But yeah, um, yeah thankfully now I think the way things are going to COVID, that all that's going to go ahead. So uh, 
it's very fortunate for and, us. And Fintan, lastly for you, um, the, the experience of, of the Olympic Village, the Irish, you know, Team Ireland and all that kind of thing, has it just been mind blowing that like, do you have to pinch yourself occasionally to see yourself as, as actually being there and it being real? Yeah, it's been it's been amazing, to be honest. Um, you know, like, obviously, when you're younger, you'd be kind of daydreaming about it and yeah. imagining it. So to be here is just unreal. And obviously winning the winning the medal was the cherry on top. Yeah. You know, dream come true stuff. Look, you've, you've made the month, uh, if not the year, for, for most of the country here. We're very proud of both of you. And uh, I have no doubt there will be a massive, <laughs> massive uh, a welcome for you back in Skibbereen. Gold for Skibbereen uh, and gold for Cork is, is a huge deal. Thank you so much to both of you for speaking to us. That is Paul O'Donovan and Fintan McCarthy there from Tokyo on their epic and historic win.